So here's the deal. Your girl Exo Selena is making some news again. Yes, Jesus. Exo Selena 187 is now. Wow. Exposing life Jennings on social media. Now she's been romantically linked, allegedly. I'm just gonna say allegedly to Fetty Wap, Dwight Howard. Let me see who else. Molly Mall, uh, O'Shea Jackson, which is rather, or is it O'Shea Jackson Jr.? You know, Ice Cube son. Yeah. Well, her name has popped up a lot over the last mm, almost a year or so. It was like maybe December of 2015. Now it's August of 2016. So let's say, you know, the last eight to nine months or so with her name popping up with a man's name here and a man's name there. It's been crazy, man. Every time we hear about her, it's another story about her and a celebrity. So, hey, she's running through these dudes like, whoa, you know. But anyways, she posted Life Jennings Bank of America card, which I will not show on YouTube uncensored. But what she said was... <laughs> Thanks, Life Jennings, but I'm done with it. Nail painting emoji, heart emoji. Steal his info, y'all. Smiley face. Fuck you at Life Jennings. You're a bitch. Damn, Selena. Now, I understand that you have beef with the man, but did you have to put his personal information out there? Was it that serious? Now, as you know, Life Jennings was just on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 5 with Carly Red. He was her love interest on the show. A lot of people thought it was a major storyline, but judging by the way that him and Carly Red have been fighting back and forth on social media, I don't know. Storyline might be real after all, and it's crazy because he bought her this ring, which was it looked like a really expensive like diamond ring or something, but it appraised for ten dollars. <laughs> when he showed her the ring, she fell out on the ground and stuff. Just ridiculous, man. These people are off the chain. We need to see my girl Selena. With her sexy ass up on Love and Hip Hop. Which Love and Hip Hop would you like to see her on? Now, I'm thinking New York or Hollywood, but those are my favorite ones, of course. You know, yeah, I'm thinking Hollywood. I would love to see Selena on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. I think she would fit in great with the cast. I think because those girls in LA, rather in Hollywood, they're chill. They're real cool. If you ever know, other than the fighting, when they're not fighting, they seem to be really laid back and cool. And maybe not so much quite as catty as the Atlanta and New York versions, I'm thinking. So, if Selena was on that cast, the Love and Hip Hop Hollywood cast, it would be real interesting because with her personality, with her like exposing dudes up on social media, stuff like that, it would be really interesting because she does, you know, she does some messy stuff. So, I, I think she would be a great cast member for the show. Maybe Mona Scott Young could make that happen. Nah, I'm just playing VH1 doesn't listen to my videos. Hey, VH1, I know y'all not listening, so I'm going to be silly. Mm. But anyways, yeah, uh, Selena's bad, you know. I'm not mad at life, but you can't be two-timing and three-timing and eight-timing women, life. You got to pick one, tell her that she's special, treat her like she's special, show her that she's special, and never fuck up. You know, look at me, for example. I fucked up with Bay. I had to be like, look. I'm sorry. Now let's just move on. Everything's going to be all right. And you got to mean it to it. You know, I mean, if you fuck up, you know, I mean, especially depending on what you did. I mean, some of y'all dudes be doing some, some old crazy shit. See, I'm not that much of a fuck up to go be cheating on chicks and beating on chicks and, and, and fucking up the money. Like so, some of y'all dudes are doing some stupid shit. I just sit back and see some of these storylines and different things. I'm like, <gasps> stupid motherfucker. You know what I mean? But still, at the end of the day, fuck it up is fucking up. So own up to it, suck it up, treat the woman right, end the story. Period. No excuses. But anyways, this is all my opinion. I think that life has been linked to enough women between It's Baylor, her sexy ass, Carly Red's fine ass, Selena's fine ass. I mean, it's like, come on now, man. But at least he picks the bad ones. At least he doesn't pick these, pick these Snorlax looking chicks. You know, Snorlax from Pokemon. Yeah. You know, at least he doesn't pick these hungry, hungry, hippo-looking bitches. You know, at least he picks some girls that look like something. You know what I mean? But anyways, this is all my opinion. What the hell do I know? I'm just a thirsty blogger. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine.